The Perito Moreno Glacier cuts Lake Argentino in two. Rushing water flows beneath the glacier, forming a tunnel. The tunnel collapses in spectacular fashion every two or four years, but always in late spring or summer. This week, for the first time, large ruptures formed in the glacier in wintertime. Ice blocks tumbled into the lake, and Wednesday, part of the tunnel collapsed. Scientist Anthony Arndt says early glacier melts are happening all over the world. In the last half century or so, glaciers have lost mass, and the rate of mass loss has increased in the last decade or so. Most scientists are confident that it's an increase in global temperatures that's driving these losses in glacier mass. Countries like Peru are vulnerable as glaciers shrink. Fresh water dries up as it flows downstream, and hydroelectric plants need spring season meltwater to operate. A few glaciers, like those on California's Mount Shasta, are growing. Arndt and other scientists say that too may be the result of a warmer climate. Increases in global temperature will lead to potentially increases in precipitation, and we can potentially have increases in snowfall. And so, I think the Shasta example is is sort of one area where it's sort of bucking the trend of what's happening around the globe. The glaciers and ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland, because of their massive size, are special concerns. As temperatures rise and glaciers melt, many scientists warn it will mean too little water for some and too much for others. Paul Cisco, VOA News.